Hey guys, welcome to Master Duel Masochist. We're trying a new intro series intro method because honestly the last one I feel like it's getting kind of stale, but you know what? Let's just jump right into it and find out what's gonna happen. Alright everybody, here's the deck we've got so far. Well, yeah, this is our deck. Our tried and true reptiles. We've got our newly added Keshtira Ogre, who's good for going first. We've got our Queen Amunicia and our big boss, Ab Abominable Unchained Soul. Now we did take out the field spell, so we can have a little more consistency because it doesn't really come up that often. Might as well take the get out. We should take out the get out. That way we, because we want to keep it as close to 40 cards as possible. But, let's get into the duels. Do let me know if we should uh, keep the old intro or go back to the old one. Like, keep this intro style or go back to the old one that we've always used. Alright, so starting off, we got a good hand. Uh, we're going to go with Kashitira Ogre. We're going to lead with you. That's a strong start. And set to and pass. Now this is a good card from watching Simo. This is a very good card. It's a staple. It is a staple. Like any cash tier card. And we can actually see what they're working with, which will help us if we have um What's it? Our Trick Star Reincarnation. Dark Archmage. Hmm. I'm thinking blue eyes, but I could be wrong. Because I don't trust what that card is, we're just going to banish one, two, three, four, and five. Banish all five of them. Bring out our Ear of Millions. Because if this activates when going to Grave, we just banish it and then it can't do anything. Okay. During the main phase, pay 2,000 life points, make both players send all cards they control the grid at the end of the third battle phase. We're on a three turn clock here. Activate Eater of Millions. Banish it. What is it? We don't know. We'll never know. Look at the top five cards. Reinforce. Pajama Pink. Plot Beta. Ace. Okay, I have no clue what their deck is. I'm gonna banish the rescue ace. That is activates at the end of the third battle phase. So if we're lucky, we should be able to avoid them next turn. Fingers crossed. Okay, uh, storm destroys any spell and traps you control. Possible and destroys any spell. Okay. So they just get to pop one. Yeah, I thought it was mo if it was monsters, I'd be a little concerned. I think you are a masochist, sir. Yep, I bet they're a masochist player.
Oh, that's uh, not good. It's actually a shorter timer than we think. At the end of the third battle. Oh, okay, so it's just battle phase in general. Let's go for a banish. Just so we can actually get those points for that. You know what? Let's get rid of Exodia. Be gone. Leader of millions. What a win. Alright, we actually... We did have to switch back to our actual deck because we wouldn't be winning otherwise. Right? And we're getting close to getting Raikou. Good. I want to check out their deck, though. And we get two Legacy Packs, which is nice. Let's check out their deck, because we fought, like, a Masochist in the past on camera, and we didn't check it out. Oh, yeah, you are a Masochist. C1-2, C1-3, Trickstar, Belladonna. You got some great Link 4s there. Our Pendulum, Soul Pendulum. Laugh Maker, Aether, that's actually a good Pendulum. Sulfacore, Double Iris Magician. Oh, they got... Sniff. Albion. Double-headed King Rex. I don't really think they have much of a game plan figured out yet, but... Oh, they got Chaos Sorcerer. Never mind. They got something good. Bravo. Good luck to you and your run, fellow masochist. Let's get into the packs. Alright. Legacy packs. Will we get anything good? Let's just skip it. Okay, we got... Solomon's Law Book. Skip your own standby. How... I know this is a really old school card, but why would you want that? Big wave, small wave, destroy as many water monsters as possible, then you can summon water monsters from your hand. Okay, this would be very good. Oh, as we control. Okay, never mind. Because if we had a uh, Simo's Stealth Crag and we could just nuke an opponent's field and then flood our own, but that doesn't. That's not how it works. Remember to read, kids. Remember to read, people. Very ba. Very ba. Like to put an H at the end. Another Kariba monster. I don't think we have enough Karibos to make that a viable thing, but it, it could be funny. And one Master Pack. And now we got these new cards added. Let's see if we get anything good. Okay, Revival Golem. That looks like a Magic the Gathering card. It's a rock type. Uh, let's cross into the deck. From the deck to the graveyard. We can't really do that. Luna Light Blue Cat. We already have one. Another Ad Lipitum. Another Hang On Mock. Altergeist. Abyss Stingray. You are not a reptile. Level 5 Thunder Monster. Okay, good if we want a Thunder card. If some in this way, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, so that's not bad. If we want to run Trap Monsters. Mermail. And Ebon Illusion. Wow, this was a really bad pack. Normal Special Summon Discard Water Monster. Okay, this isn't... I'm starting to think the game wants us to play a Water Deck... But, tough to say. You let me know if you think we should actually try making a, ma a water attribute deck. I may need y'all's help to make it, to be honest. Okay, not the best cards in the world, but... We should actually try and get some draw power from this. The draw one, but it's better than nothing. Okay, not the best play in the world, but it's better than nothing. Because we've also got our former pal Drummerilla, and if they go for attacking in the battle phase, we can special summon Juraghetto. Which we can boost to 2300, is it? Oh, that's, uh, that's not good. That's not good. I already know what's going to happen, and I don't like it. I see what you're doing there. I don't fucking like it. And we got a reptile to use our Yanni.
Well, that doesn't seem like a good thing. Relay will occur. But we survived a turn. A turn. Now let's see if we can actually survive another. All comes down to this one draw. have Ash Blossom. No, you do not. Well, if we're going down, we're going down on our own terms. Ooh, that's nasty. You know, while you're down here, if you're enjoying the content, why don't you uh, like and subscribe? We would really appreciate it. We would really appreciate it here on the channel. As well, let me know if you're a more of a Stardust Dragon fan or a Red Dragon Archfiend fan? Let me know. Like, who do you think is better, you say or Jack Atlas? Blue eyes or red eyes? Let me know. While you're at it, why don't you tell me what support, what archetype you want support for in the future? And there we go. About time. Yeah, I, probably, I had a guess we were going to lose because that archetype... If, the whole basic rule is if you're the Kaiba archetype, your deck is very offense heavy. But that's just the way it is. Alright. Julio. Alright, so this... If we're against a light attribute deck, then our mirror here is going to be very useful. I wouldn't even call the... I don't know what to call this. Okay, so a Dark Magician player. A Magician Girl deck. What would y'all rate Dark Magician Girl out of 10? Like, like, is she like an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10? What would you think? I'm actually hoping we run into more masochists, because I like playing against them. They're fun. You never know what to expect. That's where you really feel alive. We may have to speed this one up, too.
Okay, they didn't really go anywhere further than that. That's kind of strange. Okay, let's see here. We got our Drumarilla. But who are we overlaying with this? Um, our mirror is kind of useless because they don't run any... Sorry for an attack against my spellcast type monster from your hand, but it's effect negated. Hmm, that's a problem. You know what? Let's live on the edge. Because they sent one Dark Magician to the graveyard, so... There's a chance it could have two... Okay, they didn't activate it. Interesting. And we'll go with... I think it's best we play it safe with Baguska. We'll set this just in case they have other Magician Girl cards. Because for some reason, I think we're right. Nope, uh, that's the only one. I think we wasted that, but eh, whatever. Not like we had anything else going for it. I feel like a Dark World Link monster wouldn't be bad to where you could just discard from hand for advantage. While you control no monsters, your opponent's monster opponent cannot declare attacks. I actually like this artwork, I really do. Like, the Swords of Burning Light, they're made of pure blue fire. How awesome is that? Well, poo, that's not the best card we could get, but... Now, I do not want to activate the Goose Gap, but I'll activate anyway. Why did you ask me? Let's see if this works. Then that's a graveyard. Okay, it doesn't work. You still haven't figured that out yet. Well, we still haven't figured out how this guy works 100%, but it, it's not bad. We'll just stall. We'll play along. Because we've got Cash Tira if we need it. But if they just want to stall out, that's fine. Okay, not the best, but... The Goose is useless next turn. Build our Phoenix. Activate. Get rid of our Turtle. Pop that. Battle phase. Back with our Phoenix. I guess we could have done that last turn, but we wanted to get the most out of the Goose So we probably should have done that earlier because that they couldn't have done anything because they're swords of burning light. Okay, double back row, not looking too good for us. The Marilla only gets its attack increase if well, that's also not good. Now if we had dark imprisoning mirror, that would be fantastic for us, because there's a lot more dark types that are prevalent in the meta than light ones. I mean the day we run up against a light sworn deck or something, then we're golden, but the odds of that happening are very low. Great. Alright, we just gotta pop that card there. On the right. Not looking too good for us, I'm afraid. We can try and get some extra damage in. Activate Eternal Soul. Bring back the Dark Magician. Now if this was Ice Hand, we could destroy their uh, Eternal Soul and pop both their monsters in exchange for trading it into another monster. Maybe we should spend more time focusing on like, Seize Summoning than Links.
Alright, let's take out, let's break their rod. Set fire hand, just in case. Now they can add, uh, let's see. Dark magic attack, thousand knives. You can only destroy one monster. Ah! Are they gonna go for the Dark Magicians? Yep. Very likely. Yep, there it is. There they are. Wait. Unaffected by opponent's card effect, so we gotta pop that card first. All we need is MST, that's it. Now see, if they summoned out their, uh, Amias Fusion, the Dragon Knight, they would've been set. Which a lot of the time, a lot of people don't go into that card, but it's better if you do. Alright, now they're going to draw a card. It was a spell trap. They can set it. it. Wasn't. That shows the monster card. Well, oh. guess I was wrong. It was a trap or quick play spell. Well, that's not good. Kinda needed that. I already had it in hand. Now, due to the whole card text of Eternal Soul here, it's kinda difficult for me to figure out if Dark Magician Girl would be protected or just any Dark Magician. Specifically, like, this Dark Magician. I think that might be game, or we're alive by a hair. Yeah, we're alive by a hair. Like, 20... 1800, maybe? No, not 18, 17. Yep, 17. Even though I could just hit that. I could have just click that button. Alright, so that'll kill us. You can give it a shot. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that illusion of chaos because that thing is brain dead. Well, I probably should have done that. That's my bad, I forgot about that card effect. Well, that actually does cushion the blow act a little bit. See, out of all of our cards, out of the cards we've got for backward removal, if we actually drew one of them, we would have been set this turn, but alas, no. This player likes to take their time. Thinking it's Dark Magician. Now bring dev a strategy, just fan Dark Magician to the field. Now, if we went for that strategy, we kind of would have been out of luck. If we could get Magic Cylinder, that would be amazing. So I feel like with Tempire Ring Around, we should probably throw Smoke Mosquito back in, because it can end the battle phase on the spot. Well, that's game. Yeah, that, that's, that's checkmate. It is what it is. Even though our Dark our dark Imprisoning Mirror would not work against Dark Magician, because he's a normie, but eh. Oh well. Alright, we got the Dragon with the Skin Condition, and we're going first. Start with Aperia. Act, which will get Ash Blossomed. Nope, not Ash Blossomed. That three. And turn. Now, if y'all are making it this far in the video, I appreciate it for sticking around this far. As well, let me know if we should shorten the videos down. Keep them this long. Same thing with our intro. Should we go back to the original? Should we change it? Ash Blossom? There's the ash. They just drew it. Well, at least we got that taken out for when we use Aperia, because Aperia is very likely going to die this turn, and that's totally fine. Which we can just link it off. Well, that's not good.
Also, someone in a short we put out the other day said we sound like uh, Finn's dad from Adventure Time. Do we sound like that? Do we really? Because I don't hear it. Like, I do. if I do a side-by-side, -side, I'm not going to hear it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just do that, just for a little cheesiness. Bye bye! Be gone, foul demon! Which I can't really say that because we have Lubellion. We have a copy of Lubellion. Now we've got a copy of Ball Drake, which, if since we control a monster, they can just immediately turbo it out. Alright, we should probably use our. Activate this. Since they don't, we know they don't have Ash Blossom. And we can get two off of this. Maybe we should just run pure uh, Performer Pals. Now they've banished Lubellion. Which I think does something upon banish. Okay, target one other light or dark monster. Okay, I can kind of work with this. Okay, they got a plus one. Not the best. Activate, send this. Bring back our Apuria so we can draw one. Now this would have been a great time for a dark imprisoning mirror. Alright, we got their imperm, which is good, and now we can't set anything in that row. Can't be destroyed by opponents. Card effects turn. Alright, that's fine. We'll go into Lizardos. We're probably going to lose this, but let's go out with a bang, okay? Let's summon our Ragnarika, because we never get to do that. Well, never mind. Yeah, I think that's death. Because we forgot to read that card effect, because they're just like uh, Dogmatica, where you can't really do anything once they set up. Okay, better for going first. Well, actually, no, this kind of may... This is the problem. We've got Cashier Ogre, which is, I guess, better for going second? Well, it's best to have, it's best to have at the start of the duel, but... Okay, I don't like where this is going. Of 
Sword Soul, probably. Sword Soul Ten Yi. Ten Yi. Did you just chain your own Ash Blossom to your own Pot of Desires? Um, did you mess up? I think you messed. I think you done messed up, buddy. I'm I'm not gonna question it, but now we know their hands empty, to say the least. We'll take that. Yeah, y'all kind of, you kind of messed up there, buddy boy. You kind of screwed up. But I'm not complaining. Because that gets us to rank four. And we got to... Again, they want us to play the fish. They want us to play the fish. Let's go see what these packs get us. Let's not hit the skip button this time. Because we got a... Gold, hopefully, an SR. I don't know what they mean. Synchro control. You have no synchro monster on your side of the field in your graveyard. Pay a thousand life points to select a face of monster opponent control. Take control of this off. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we use that on Tenpai? Bell Striker. I don't think that'll work on Tenpai just because of the fact that it's Tenpai. They've got some technical bullshit. A new performer pal. Eater Totter Hopper. First time this special summon card would be destroyed by battle each turn. It is not. Once per turn during the phase, target level 3 low before power grave. I send this card to grave, add it to hand of 4 power from hand to graveyard. Special summon this. Hmm. And a union monster. Nope. Unfortunately, the way it is, if it's not a uh, XYZ, then it's not good. High five the sky. Card we used in the past, Vendreds. Prank kids. Crystals. Former Pal Uni. Cosmo Dark Planet. Now that's a beat stick. By banishing Cosmo monsters from your hand, whose total levels equal 10 or more, and cannot be special summoned by other ways, cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. During either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, banish a Cosmo monster from graveyard. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Hmm. I don't know if we have any Cosmos. Dragoonity Arma Levatane. Levatan. Alright, from here to grab by banishing one monster you control equipped with the Dragoonity. Okay, so maybe Dragoonities could be an option now. Dragon Monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. And Arm Dragon Flash. Okay, not the best cards in the world, but the Cosmo Dark Planet and the Dragoonity Arma Levatan could work as an idea. Uh, do let me know what you think down below in the comment section below. Whether we should keep the intro, whether we should try a different deck, build that aqua deck using sharks, aquas, and whatnot. I'll do all that, and I'll see you all in the next time. Till then, ciao. Savannah, I'm